Welcome, 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 welcome to Many Voices. And cut. Cool. Oh no, wait. Uh, I did it? Shoot. Ah. Okay. Uh, we're welcome dead. back. <laughs> welcome back, one and all. This is Manly Voices. I'm Evan. <laughs> I'm still Gabs. We're playing Danganronpa. I'm still here. Okay, so. And I don't want the world to see me. <laughs> Cause I don't think that they'd understand. So perhaps if she had an alibi, that would change things. And everything bound to be broken. Stop, tink stop singing this instant, you psycho. <laughs> Modus operandi matches completely. Yeah, we only get a copyright strike. What the oh, fuck do we need? Oh, that's gonna give us a copyright strike. <laughs> oh. I can't do the high pitched laugh. Dang it. Give it up. You killed her. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have to just focus on remembering Chihiro's body. That must have the answers. Mm, yeah, you remember that body. Uh. Sorry, Sorry, buddy. but I didn't kill anyone! Okay, so you gave me crap about Celeste's body, but you make that joke and that's fine? <laughs> well... Okay. No, You've been called out! Shoot! The button <laughs> didn't fair, respond. Fair. I don't even know what's happening. Where even am I right now? But the button didn't respond, so I gotta do it again. Uh, do it all again. Okay, we can repair this one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is it hard for you to sit still in school? Yeah. <laughs> Break. <laughs> what makes you say that? Are the methods of murder <laughs> Are the methods of murder really the exact same? I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a slight difference between the genocide jack cases and this one. Huh? How is it any different? Uh oh, you don't know. Well then, human garbage, let me tell you. <laughs> I murder with passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. When you're here, you're murdered. <laughs> when you're here, your family's dead. <laughs> But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if the same Italian restaurant started using Ragu or Chef Boyardee. When you're here, you're in the canned food aisle. <laughs> There's no, this is no creation of mine. Well, that's a very can don't attitude, Genocide Joe. Uh, Let me rephrase that in a way that maybe makes more sense. Excuse me. Ah, there are two diff clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. There's one clear difference between the murders. In the photos from the other Genocide Jack cases, look at the neck and stomach. You see a clear difference. There's a fatal injury. Right? Yeah, because they all got scissors. Yeah. Take that! For one, the cause of death is different. In the Genocide Jack murders, all victims were killed in the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. But Chihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, uh, yes! That's remarkably different from the other murders. This is- if this is Byakuya and he's finally gonna die, I'm gonna be so hyped. I know, right? Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. That's right! In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is in the- if the bloody message is in the tortellini, I just had to make sure I was reading that right, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce. I'm not really on board with this metaphor, by the way. <laughs> Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? Thank you, Hero. So, are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? That's right. The second difference is related to how she was suspended. In the photos of the other Genocide Jack cases, all the other victims were stabbed through the hands. Hear the shoe. Uh, she was when she was suspended. How she was posed. What was used to suspend her? What was used to suspend her? Yeah. Oh, it's totally Biakia, isn't it? Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? Well, in all the previous genocide jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor sharp scissors. And guess what? I used my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement! Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools that I use. 
And, 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 and you know what else? <laughs> Big Mac said that there's two differences, but he's wrong! Big Mac? Are, are you referring to me? Listen up, Big Mac! There's <laughs> actually one more difference. Oh, shit. Huh? My word, you really didn't notice. Take a look at who the victims were in each Genocide Jack case. There's a pattern there just waiting to be discovered. A pattern? Figure that out and it'll be as plain as death. Why, I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. Mm, let's see. There was a pattern surrounding the Genocide Jack victims and Chihiro didn't fit it. I wonder if I stare at my thumb long enough, I'll look at the cliff notes. <laughs> How long has this been there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you look at the names of every victim that are written in microscopic font on my thumb, you'll notice, I think I figured it out. Why she couldn't have chill killed Chihiro. Oh, I want it to be because Chihiro is her lover, but I know that's not it. Because she's a goyle. She's a goyle. Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Bingo! Bullseye! Right on the money! What are you talking about? In all the Genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. Ken Harada, 32. If, like, I'm Hiro not reading all these things. <laughs> like, but. Hero's girl? Yeah. He's like, but she was a programmer. They were oh my all... god, he's like, the patriarchy runs so deep in him. They were all guys? That's right, the people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> I can't believe I said it, I'm so embarrassed! The hell is wrong with you? I can't help it, I'm just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl, and the mopey side of me just hates it! But now I'm the one that... Now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full-fledged fan, ma fan madame. So since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, you wouldn't kill her? Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. I have too much passion and conviction to cross that line. That's the absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy, but that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lowly cur! Lowly cur? I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival! And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and the arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! That... Oh, that sorry. you should be. That does make some amount of sense. I thought it was Leon talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Leon. Plus! Why do you think it was Leon talking? He did. Well, his face if... was next to Jahira, or to Celeste's. Jeez. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors! Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you used the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school. Any scissors? I don't use just any scissors! I use only my own set of high-class, envy of the entire world scissors! Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> da 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 da! Good. She's fully equipped! How did she sneak those in? Everybody else got everything taken away. That's right! I can kill anywhere, anytime! Oh, yeah. Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Is Toko just so much more fascinating now? Yes. I love it. And I love your voice for her, too. It sounds a lot like Hina, but it works. Yeah. Go ahead! Tell me I'm wrong! You can't, can you? Gutter dogs, all of you! Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot. So rope's totally out of the question anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? In this particular thing, yeah. But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah, that's why we figured it had to be the real deal and not some copycat killer or whatever. Hmm. Actually... Hold on here. Why is Celeste talking in my head? <laughs> She's just like omnipotent. 
There is one person. One person who could have copied the Genocide Jack cases. Hello? Select someone. Bitch. Bye. Don't you even joke about that. <laughs> no, it's That's not, not funny. He's my precious baby. Where a little is cinnamon he? roll. There he Hello. is. Hello! But goodbye. I'm kind of afraid what would happen if any of your favorite people ever got hurt. I'd be yeah. really sad. It hasn't happened yet. Byakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to all classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the Genocide Jack file before the, all this happened, hadn't you? My favorite person was Junko, but she's not enough. I liked Junko a lot, too. I miss her. I took her for granted. Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Then the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was... Because he wanted to pin the crimes on her! So he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it. The adorable glasses man was behind it all. I'm, s I'm on fire. <laughs> She's like actually on fire. Like, it just totally just doesn't notice. About it. Yeah. What? What are you what? looking at? I, I said I was on fire. Well, Biakio, what's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. I can't wait to wipe that stupid-ass grin off your stupid-ass ugly butt face. Then I must ask, when you say, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. You don't have to act suspicious. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Yeah, he was kind of leading us in that yeah. direction. Yeah. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay, then what's so strange about it? Go ahead, share with the rest of the class. There was a clear contradiction in what Byakuya just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. A new Adam. Okay, uh, what Let's is get it? some more instruction. Next, we're going to add something called a truth flashback. Damn, all right. If we got bullets and a flashbacks. Weak spot, pull down the Y button. Then you'll memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet... Oh, I remember the, this. I didn't, I didn't remember this at first, but now I'm... Yeah. All coming back to me feature. now. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or contradiction in your loaded truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize different weak spots and use that to make your case. So, when's the best time to flashback? You'll just have to use your keen wits, won't ya? In this case, <laughs> so though, I will... Instead of using our, our, our evidence, we'll use what they said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. So, in this case, though, I will say that if you don't use the flashback, you won't be refuting anything. Well then, good luck and have fun! Alright, let's try this out. Make your argument. Monica my file number two. So that probably doesn't happen what we're looking for in this. So you said Bayaki was acting kind of similar here before we found the body. But how? They already knew it was Shihiro. If you're present with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, you absolutely take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Alright. That's a natural reaction for any guy. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. Let's check. Oh, sure. But they, we didn't know that it was Chihiro yet. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? I wish you'd taken me with you. Hearing Byakuya's comment about Chihiro being a girl, it doesn't make sense how she would know before we even found it. Okay, so we if should- If he had really- Oh uh, yeah, never mind. Bam. No? Dang it, was it reversed? Come <laughs> I need to think about it one more time before the fleas devour my hair! <laughs> They're crawling into my ears! Crawling in! My skin! My ears! My ears! <laughs> my ears! My, wi my little ears! Before we found the body, uh, let's try the opposite. Look spots. at fucking Toko right there, damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Take that. Did it. That's wrong, counter. <laughs> You're a counter now. Sink. Dishwasher. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. Byakuya's a counter! <laughs> 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 
Why are we all talking about this dead girl when we've got a counter? <laughs> Genocide Jill's like, no, yeah, he's totally right. He's totally a table. <laughs> because up until now, we actually discovered the body. We couldn't have known who... Until we had discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went into the girl's locker room first because Jahira wasn't the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Huh? What's wrong? Is Why that is it? it just Makoto carrying this fucking team? Seriously. Gym? The dumbest one in the building. <laughs> Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead, show us. What's with Pyakuya's attitude? It's like he doesn't even care. I got him quartered, but he's acting like this has nothing to do with him. What's the matter? My You're not finished will hear already. About this. <laughs> yeah. There must be more to it. There is, I think. There is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and the past genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Oh, that's what I was thinking earlier. What? Because if you really knew about genocide Jack stuff, then. Uh, if you really knew about genocide Jack, then you have killed the dude instead? Right. Yeah. Oh? Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? The differences between this case and the other Genocide Jack murders. Evidence that proves Byakuya is responsible is hidden there? What could it be? Do we want to look at that case file real quick before we Sure. Alright. Library desk lab. Okay. That makes me think we have to do another flashback. Uh, okay, so... There she go. Alright, suspect of Genocide Jack victims include these Countless others. They were killed in the same way and mounted to nearby wall. Uh, word bloodlust found split personality. That doesn't really tell us anything that we haven't really found out already. Okay, so let's just kind of go. Uh, you want me to explain it again? Uh, when I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors and I use the same scissors to arrange the body. But your hero was suspended with. Was some kind of rope, was it not? Uh, that's right! It absolutely was! There must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Biakia! Where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Shit. <laughs> that, that's wrong! <laughs> Obviously someone else must have hidden it away somewhere. The proof that Biakia did it was hidden within the rope. The item she was bound with looked like a rope. It wasn't. So, I think it actually is with, So, I'm just gonna- yeah, I misfired on purpose, don't worry about it. Uh, my very own special scissors to, to arrange the body, and I think we're actually going to use our truth bullet for this. Hey, where'd you get it from, huh? I've never seen that rope oh, before no. in my- Oh no! You fucked it! Damn it! This is the worst. This controller doesn't respond to the buttons right away either. So, damn it. Da 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 da, I was playing- Do it all. Do it all. She was suspended with uh, some kind of rope. That's right, it was the last rope. Where'd you get the rope, huh? Where's the money, shitheads? I've never seen that. Fuck! No! Ah! Evan's drunk. I am not. He's stumbling. Mumbling, stumbling, screwing up and tumbling. <laughs> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Okay. Okay. I got this. I just need to. Did Earlier than you think. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then, damn. Take that! Yeah, damn. Nice! Cool. Nailed uh, it. Next time I'm melee voices, we'll counter. Break! Break! Yeah, this Everyone is good. We're taking, a, we're taking a break. We're taking a break from recording and from murdering our classmates. Exactly. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, Chef Boy RD will sneak into your house and kill you. Oh. Bye, everybody. <laughs>